Excuse me, but where are you going? I am on my way to restore power to the shields. I see. Why are you restoring the shields? Are you serious? The ship has come under a surprise attack by a Romulan attack cruiser and we have taken a lot of damage to our systems. An attack by a Romulan? You were crazy. There was no mention of an upcoming attack at the 7 o'clock supervisor meeting. Are you certain the Romulan are attacking? Where have you been all morning? Haven't you heard the loud blasts hitting the ship? There are dead bodies all over the place. I thought all those people were just sleeping on duty. I recorded all of their names and was going to write them up. Well, they are dead. Didn't you see all the blood? That was blood. I thought it was just red paint. You actually thought those people were sleeping? I saw that some of them were missing body parts, like their heads, arms and legs but as a supervisor. I am trained in identifying all the ways you worthless wage grade people will go just to avoid working. It takes people like us, the supervisors, to monitor your slack ass workmanship and write you up when you fail to meet our ridiculously high set of standards. We do this because we love you and care about you. If you weren't so ungrateful you would probably rush to have your lips surgically attached to my ass. Sure, whatever. Well, I have to be going. Wait. Yes? Where is your work card? I don't have a work card. The ship is under attack. The shields are down, the computers are down, and half the crew is dead, including all of the schedulers. I really don't have time to argue the point. Well, I can't allow you to continue without a work card in your possession. Look around, Mr. Super Duper Do you see an office depot nearby? We are in the middle of space. There is no paper. Starfleet quit using paper 300 years ago. You tricky maintainers are always trying to change the subject. I am much too smart to be sidetracked by trivial things like paper. I will now continue mentoring you for your own good. The work card tells you exactly what technical data you will need. Hey, I see that you are not carrying any technical data. Aren't you aware that technical data is required when performing any maintenance task? What if you missed an important step and someone was to get hurt or killed? Like I just told you. Half the crew is already dead. How do I know that you were telling me the truth? I think that you already tried raising the shields and you killed off half the crew because you missed an important step in the technical data. I am going to write you up and you will be decertified from doing any maintenance on the shields from now on. No you don't understand. Oh my god I wish someone would just shoot me. Let's try this one more time. We are under attack. The crew is dead because the Romulan are attacking us. Well, if that is true that we are under attack, I am glad our ship is equipped with shields so we can repel the aggressors. Hey! You out there! Can you believe this crap? Am I on some kind of hidden camera show? Look, have you been listening to anything I have been saying? Our shields are down. I am on my way to the bridge so I can reroute power to the shields and bring them back online. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Rerouting power to the shields requires that you move various circuit cards around. Do you have a certified electrostatic discharge mat equipped with a wrist strap? I cannot allow you to move circuit cards around without being properly grounded. You could cause serious damage to the ship. If you do not get out of my way I am going to reroute your teeth with my fist. Then I will take that wrist strap, bind your hands and pistol whip you with my phaser. You obviously failed to see that I am a supervisor and have the authority to write you up. I am all powerful. No one is more powerful than a supervisor. Do you see this yellow cord thingy around my neck? Only a supervisor is allowed to have it. The yellow cord thingy, is yellow. It is the color of the sun. It gives me the powers of the sun. If I were to show you my powers of the sun you would immediately burst into flames, but you would be happy about it because you would know that we supervisors love you and care about you. I think I am starting to get a migraine. I am the supervisor and I love you and care about you. Can I get back to work now? No, I am the supervisor. I am all powerful. All the women of the universe love me, 
Even those green bitches. You need immediate psychiatric help. You should report to sick bay. I am the supervisor. Fear me. Okay then I guess I better be going. You can. Why? Because I am the supervisor and you must listen to me. Everyone in the universe will bow down to the supervisors because we are all powerful. We are even more powerful than the Q. Do you know why? Why? Oh why did I ever give James Kirk that red shirt for his birthday? Now we are stuck with you. Please do not interrupt me while I am mentoring you for your own good. We supervisors are more powerful than the Q because they are only one letter long and we are ten letters long. We are ten times more powerful than the Q. Is this going to take much longer? I think some more people just died. I really need to get those shields back online. You can. Now why? Because raising the shields is a two-person task. Where is your work partner? I cannot permit you to go unless you have a work partner. My work partner is dead. He was killed while trying to realign the warp core when the engines were hit and disabled. No one else on board the ship knows how to get the shields fixed. I am the only one left. You have to have a work partner. Okay, well, can you be my work partner? Um, no. I am a supervisor and doing any kind of manual labor is beneath me. Um, er, um, I mean, that I am expecting an important phone call from Starfleet headquarters very soon. The fate of the universe will be affected if I miss that call. Um, okay, whatever. I am going to go find someone to help me so I will catch you later. Okay, yes. Go and fix those shields. Consider that a direct order. Ah, there you are. Did you successfully carry out my order for you to fix the shields? Your order? Yes, my order. Earlier when I was mentoring you for your own good, I learned that the ship's shields were down and I gave you a direct order to restore them. It is my responsibility as your supervisor to prioritize your work since you are not smart enough to do that on your own. You are not my supervisor. I have never even seen you before today. That is because I arrived on board late last night. Oh really? What other starships have you been assigned to? This is the first starship that I have ever seen in my entire life. I was hired last week after I graduated from college and was given this starship as my first command. I thought it was strange that my elementary education degree would be enough to command a starship but after I found out how stupid you wage grade employees are, I realized it was a brilliant decision. Whatever you say, your majesty. The shields are fixed. We successfully defeated the Romulan ship and all surviving crew members are now safe. Outstanding. I need you to write a complete report of all your work so I can contact Starfleet Command and take full credit for everything. Your report needs to be as thorough as possible. This attack and all of your timely repairs will look very good on my record and will guarantee my next promotion. All of you are fortunate that they sent me here, or you might not have survived the attack. You don't have to thank me though. I am just glad we are all on the same winning team. Let us dance in celebration of my awesome skills as a supervisor. <laughs> Maybe I was really killed during the attack and this is actually hell. <laughs>